how are most aftermarket workshops handling this situation? How, how are they doing it? The, most are banking on trust. So I've dealt with that customer for so long and I've got that intrinsic trust that I've built up over time. It's not, it's not immediately available to a new customer. And so they're having to take that time to slowly build up and they might be neglecting mm. work or, or holding back work. They think, hey, this invoice is already pretty big. They don't quite need the brakes yet. So they won't, they won't mention it to the customer that it's the best thing to do. Customer might want to do it straight away because it's not a fact to them, but they're, they're concerned that if they push too much, that the customer will pull back and that they're not doing the right thing. And, and when sharing information is, is absolutely key. And they're also taking big hits to trust on small items. Things like light bulbs and battery tests. Oh, yeah. yep. The customer comes back, I've just taken it in and I've just found that the rear tail light in my car has been blown. Why didn't you check it? Why didn't you change yeah. it last time? Yeah. With digital inspections and that extra information, those images, you can show the customer, yes, it was checked, it was fine, not a problem, we'll fix it. And immediately you're regaining that trust from yeah. that customer rather than questioning, well, did you do the job properly last time? And second guessing you. Yeah. yeah.